When a woman isn't ovulating, the medical term for it is anovulation. And there are several reasons for anovulation, most of which are caused by hormonal imbalances. Others could be as a result of dysfunction of the ovaries, medications, or a medical condition. Hi, it's Stephanie Young here, your menstrual cycle coach. And in this video, I'll be explaining quickly getting causes of anovulation. Number one, birth control. Most birth control options stop ovulation in order to prevent pregnancy. I mean, if there's no egg for the sperm to fertilize, there will be no pregnancy. Smart, right? And I get it. You may even be aware and be like, oh, I know that. But there are many women who have no idea how their birth control works because they weren't well informed. On the other hand, there are some with lasting effects, meaning even after you go off it, it takes a while for your natural hormones to kick in. And for ovulation to start again because your body has been so used to not ovulating. So you may want to review your birth control history. Two, perimenopause. You know, when it comes to first periods, a lot of us are well aware of everything that happens in my time in boarding school. We couldn't wait to get our periods because our friends had started to see their periods and we we're like, when is my own going to come like this? <laughs> If you can relate, drop a comment in the comment section. So back to the point, as we get older, say from mid-30s, women experience something for the next 10 to 15 years that no one really talks about. It's called perimenopause. Our hormones begin to fluctuate. They decline as well. So you could see that ovulation begins to switch on and off in between cycles. You ovulate in some months and you don't ovulate in others. It's absolutely normal and happens to a lot of us. Mind you, I know some of us are trying to conceive and not sure if we actually ovulate. You can get my ebook, How to Get Pregnant Faster. It will help you understand your fertility signs better and how to use them to track ovulation. I also have a video I did previously where I talked about signs that could mean a woman is not ovulating. You can watch it after this to find out whether or not you're ovulating. I'll put all the links below this video or in the description. 3. Primary ovarian insufficiency. This is a condition where a woman's ovaries fail before she's 40. It's also called premature or early menopause. For some women who experience this, there's no explanation as to why. And for some others, it could have been caused by certain medical conditions. The next point is kind of similar but different and it's called diminished ovarian reserve. When we are born, as women, we are born with all the eggs we'll ever need. Millions of eggs. And as we age, they begin to reduce gradually until menopause. But for some women, they find out at some point in their reproductive years that they have fewer eggs than normal. Number five, PCOS. This is a very common condition, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, it's very common among women in their reproductive years. Women with PCOS have very high levels of the male hormones, causing an appearance of small fluid-filled cysts containing immature eggs along the outer edge of the ovary. So women produce male hormones in small amounts, so don't think, where did that come from? <laughs> this causes the egg follicles to remain small and not mature for ovulation, so as a result, they may find it difficult to ovulate. So women with PCOS have very long cycles, and while it may seem like ovulation is proven difficult for them, they still ovulate once in a while. The next point is overweight or a high BMI. This can cause an ovulation by increasing the level of male hormones like testosterone and other cases of hormonal imbalance mentioned here in this video. Seven is stress. I know you may have heard about this quite a number of times. As a matter of fact, it's one of the questions you get asked by your doctor when you go in to complain about not ovulating or having irregular periods. Some of us even say, which stress? I don't think I'm stressed. But the truth is, many of us are. When your body suffers high levels of stress, the brain figures this out and starts the process of secreting a hormone called cortisol. So as cortisol levels increase, your brain sees it as your body is in danger and take steps to take you out of the danger zone quickly into safety. And one of the ways it does this is your brain making the decision and saying, you know what, at this point, I don't think reproduction is a priority. Stop the production of GnRH, gonadotropin-releasing hormone. This is the hormone that initiates the production of LH and FSH that cause ovulation. So your body shuts down reproduction and focuses on keeping you safe. Managing stress is so important. We really need to find ways to deal with stress. How do you manage stress? Tell me in the comments. You may just be saving another woman. There are a few other scenarios that cause 
an ovulation similar to how stress works, that is, stopping the production of hormones that cause ovulation. Pituitary tumor or damage. So the pituitary gland is located at the base of your brain and it produces certain very important hormones, including those for ovulation. So if there's a tumor, which is mostly not cancerous, pressing on it, or if there's a damage, it will prevent the production of the hormones for ovulation. Low body weight does the same thing as well, or low BMI. Intense exercise routine for very long periods. When you continue on these exercises, the production of your reproductive hormones will be stopped. Under eating too, when you don't eat well enough, your body lacks the amount of calories needed to kickstart the brain to produce the hormones needed for ovulation. You might be getting tense after watching this video thus far. You shouldn't be. I tell women all the time, irregular periods or anovulation are more common than you think, but can be corrected many times. You can get my free period reset guide. It's an ebook where I talk about a four-step process to getting your periods right back on track. The link will be in the description or just below this video. Number 12. See, we're almost done. <laughs> Hyperprolactinemia. Prolactin is a hormone secreted for the production of breast milk. So in pregnant or breastfeeding women, this hormone is very high. And in women not pregnant or breastfeeding, when high, it suppresses the production of the hormones for ovulation. It's why exclusive breastfeeding is used as a form of birth control. And the last point is low thyroid hormones. Your thyroid gland is located in your neck area. These glands produces hormones very necessary for ovulation. Low levels prevent ovulation from happening by increasing prolactin. And you remember the previous point, right? How prolactin, the breastfeeding hormone, works. High prolactin, no ovulation. So that's it. 13 causes of anovulation. Don't forget to get your period reset guide and other helpful resources from the link in the description or just below the video. See you next week. Bye.